So you got into PCVR, right? You got the setup, right? You fucking, you got Half-Life Alex. you experienced it, it was fucking awesome, right? And you're like, yes, this is the shit, right? And then you soon realize, like, that's it for, like, AAA games, right? That's, but then I, you find out about mods, right? And you go and you try to mod it, and it just doesn't fucking work, and you think it's because of this or because of that. Come to find out, it was my fault. I was the reason why the mods don't work. So I'm here to help you guys find out that it's actually your fault. The reason why the mods aren't working. If you got the setup, it should be working, right? So um, uh, make sure that you watch until the end too. Because I'm going to give tips on recording. Two re tips on recording, right? And why you want to act like you're recording anyways. Um, shit. Alright, so we're going to jump to Resident Evil 3 first. Right, I gotta show you something over there, and then we'll jump back to Resident Evil 7 settings, right? Right, right, right? Shit! So I'll see you then. So we're over here in Resident Evil 3's um, graphics menu, right? Um, and one thing I learned while recording is that the Resident Evil 7's menu after you do the first setup is really, really tiny. It's really hard, so make sure that we you get all your settings right on Resident Evil 7 the first time when you put on your headset because if not it's going to be a pain in the ass right so first of all DirectX 12 right you always want to run DirectX 12 if you can because that lets you use um, more than one processor DirectX 11 only supports single core so we definitely want that to be on right you don't want to mess with that you don't want to mess with that just leave that the way it is read like all of this the way it is is fine you don't want to change your image quality or any of that resolution or your refresh rate or the variable or the v-sync or any of that we want that completely off all the time right and see how we can just turn off anti-aliasing always 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 in all vr mods you're going to want to turn off anti-aliasing if you can and if you can't no matter what do not pick taa that breaks vr like on resident evil 7 you can't turn off anti-aliasing but what you can do is you can turn off um you can turn it to where it just says one thing and that one thing is not taa and that'll work but you really don't need it in vr um and then down here right i have a 12 gigabyte card but i am running it really low like i know you want to run it really high you got the 12 gigs you want to use all of them but i'm telling you run it low like the next one makes it orange so that just means no no like if if it let me do eight gigs probably would have but we're gonna do six so we're gonna like pretend like we have a six gig card because we're running two screens remember all right, so we turn down the, the, the texture quality I have on high, um, uh, antroscopic filtering, right? Um, I have on 2x. That, that's good enough. Like, just put on 2x or put it on none if you can, right? Just just put it really, really, really low. I have a 3060, and I'm running 2x. Not, not 16, not 8, nothing like that. Mesh quality, it had it on high, so I put it on medium, right? shadow quality definitely want to have these on low these will break the recording um if you if it is working and it and in most of the time it's going to cause problems put that always on low be, be be scared of these it's okay we're we're doing vr we don't have to have it all the way up all right shadow cache off right um because it's yes or no off screen reflections off uh off off volumetric quality low because it, it, it you could have on but but this should be off like this should be off i don't know why i have it on just just say no right low low is the lowest we can these are post-processing effects off 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 ambient inclusion off this one definitely this definitely breaks vr this is like definitely breaks vr all of this breaks vr right in one way or another but this is like big time breaks vr this is a big one do not do any of these at all none of them off if you can and if you have no no choice like I, I would i would do whatever seems like the closest to off but definitely off bloom all this shit off 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 now check this out right 
This has Fidelity FX and Upcasting. This is like um, first generation DLSS uh, and first generation FSR and all that shit, right? Like this is going to hopefully be coming to um, Resident Evil 2, Resident Evil 3, and Resident Evil 7 are getting upgrades, right? And Resident Evil 8 has DLSS and I'm pretty sure you want to do all this shit too. But if you can do DLSS, do it. That shit seems to work. It really seems to work in VR. It really seems to work. All right, let's jump in the game. I gotta show you something, right? Alright, so, right, when you first start Resident Evil 3, this is like a really good looking, this is the best looking game, because I found out later that this is actually newer than Resident Evil 7, right? I, I didn't realize Resident Evil 7 came before 2 and 3 remakes, right? This runs the best, especially with that fidelity effects thing, right? When you first start the game, right, you're gonna wake up in bed, right, as Jill, right? And, and it's gonna be, you're gonna think you should be in VR and you're not and you don't have arms and it's all fucked up and it's all weird, right? You gotta use two thumbsticks and if you see your boundary, you'll see it's all moving and shit's all fucked up, right? You gotta walk to the bathroom and look at the fucking sink, right? And she blows out her head, right? And then you gotta fucking wake up again and you think, well now I should be in VR, right? 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 Duh. Nope. Nope, gotta walk to the sink. Oh. Again, and you gotta blow up her head again, boop, and then it'll be like the first episode in my series beep, 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 of Resident Evil 3, right? But man, um, all the settings of Resident Evil 2 are just the same like this, but there's no fidelity effects or none of that cool shit like that, right? But this is so worth it. Resident Evil 2 is so worth it. At the end, uh, you'll you'll see. Uh, there'll be a link to the settings in Resident Evil 2 and shit, right? This game is so, so worth playing. So worth playing. Alright, so, um, uh, remember, you can't turn off aliasing completely. So just make sure it's not TAA. Let's go back over to Resident Evil 7. So, fuck, fuck, fuck. So... Like, um, so, like, first of all, right, some tips on recording, right, 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 if you're recording, right, and it's not coming out really well, like, it's all, look like, at all fucking garbage and shit, right, 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 um, it's because you gotta fucking, uh, you gotta, you gotta record with the VR player, right? You gotta record with the VR player, not with the screen that says like Resident Evil or Half Life or whatever. Always record with the with the VR viewer. Like make it show. Steam VR has like an option. Like figure it out. It's totally worth it. Like that. That's number one tip right there. And number tip, number two tip is tone down your settings. Like I know we're all graphics whores, right? That's why we bought all this shit. We want it to look good, right? 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 You want it to look good, right? Well, tone down your graphic settings. Turn everything down a notch, man. If it if it says that you can run high, run it on medium, man. Just medium the fuck out of it. If it's got you on ultra, put that shit on high. And then we remember, remember, remember. We're just saying no to all the post-processing effects, right? We are graphics whores, which means we need to be proud because we're not running flat screen games no more. Those settings are for flat screamers. That's how I do it mentally, right? Is I'm proud that we're turning them off, right? We're turning them off. And the reason why, right? The reason why you want to act like you're recording anyways is because that's what people see on the monitor when people see. So you don't have to change anything, right? Plus, it's smooth. Remember, we're now smooth whores. We want it to be smooth, right? Because that's what makes it really work. It's okay if it doesn't have every fucking thing that's going on because this is still the best there is. Nothing else looks this good. Nothing else. Well, Resident Evil 3 probably even looks better than this but i don't know i haven't played eight yet and also remember 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 if your system is, is close like 2070 super 20 uh, 30 60 you know and better i know will work if it should work and it's just not there enough remember all these again the graphics updates and i'm pretty sure they're gonna have either that that amd um FSR or right they're gonna have the fucking DLSS and so if you can run those run those because those actually work those actually work with fucking VR Hello, like I'm <laughs> shit like I'm sure of that shit so oh 
fuck, is he coming? So, like, um, I don't have a Patreon or nothing, right? 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 I just want what Google algorithm wants, right? I just want likes and subs and comments and all that good shit. You won't shit, be long before I right? find you and kill you! So, um, if, if you click on this video right here in the bottom right, right? That's the settings for Resident Evil 2, right? And also, it shows you how to bring up the mod menu. So, if you want to learn that... Oh, and also, it, it shows you how to, like, fix your standing height and shit. It's a little, little older than this. It's a different style and shit. But Where's click on that if you want... Then? Definitely click on that no matter what. It's a good thing to know how to do that shit, right? And then, um, up here on the top left is Resident Evil 3. If you watch the first episode, right at the beginning, that's when it stops doing the thing I warned you about, right? And then up here on the top left, right, that's Resident Evil 7, right? It's giving me like psychological problems, but at the same time, I'm using it to help say goodbye to my wife, right? Like you'll have to click on it to see what I'm talking about. And if you click on the heart in the bottom left, right, it'll subscribe you to the channel, right? Um, and, uh, <sighs> With that, y'all, I'm going to wish y'all a good night. All right? Good night.